What do you see happening to retail since you've had such a, a deep look at it from so many angles, and how is it going to change through this crisis? Yeah, thank you. I, um, I think retail has been going through a shift, like all businesses, uh, over the last 20 years with the advent of things like the Internet and e-commerce and uh, mobile phone adoption, uh, broadband technology, uh, the uh, computing power, um, and I think uh, the coronavirus and the crisis here has really just accelerated uh, many of those trends. Uh, we're certainly seeing uh, our customers uh, look to shop online more. They're looking for contactless pickup in store and buy online pickup in store curbside. They're looking for contactless payments. Uh, there's much more strong adoption of mobile. Um, convenience is playing even a bigger and bigger role. Uh, many of these, all these trends were really trends that have been, you know, evolving over the last 20 years. And I think uh, really in the last six weeks, what we've done is pulled forward the customer adoption curve on many of these by two or three years. Yeah. Well, on the call this morning, you said that you've had a cross-functional team meeting twice a day, seven days a week since late February, uh, working on this COVID-19 crisis and the appropriate response. I got to ask you, uh, based on th this opening up that's beginning, you have 92 stores in Georgia. Uh, Tennessee and Ohio are among uh, your top 10 states for stores, all of those looking to open up more in the next couple of weeks. South Carolina as well. What are your plans to either change operations or make sure that both customers and employees in those locations are safe? The safety and health of our team members and our customers is our utmost top priority and really has been uh, since late Feb, always is, but has been a very much a focus since our late February when we kicked off our pandemic crisis task force. Um, we've uh, made a number of actions, over 100 actually, over the last six weeks to, in, to really be focused on our team member safety and health. Uh, that includes the mass rollout of PP&E, face mask, face shield, gloves, hand sanitizer, cleaning supplies. We added a greeter to every door and every store we have in the company. Uh, we've expanded. Uh, we are now hiring 5,000 additional team members. We have 34,000 when we began. We're adding 5,000 to that. Um, we've um, uh, also given every team member two weeks of sick pay. If you're sick, we do not want you coming into work. Uh, and we've also uh, extended a variety of other benefits to our, to our team members, including an appreciation bonus. All of our team members, like as an example, an hourly team member is earning $2 per hour uh, more right now. Uh, we began that on March 16th. So, you know, we've taken, as I said, over 100 different actions uh, to do everything we can uh, uh, to ensure the health and safety of our team members and our customers. Uh, we have our own epidemiologist on, on, uh, as part of the team. We've got several uh, folks who are monitoring kind of local and state municipality regulations. And, of course, we're in constant communication with the CDC and uh, other government regulators. Uh, it's good to hear how this is Morgan. Um, you mentioned cyber uh, just a, a moment ago. Uh, and certainly Tractor Supply has expanded same-day delivery to all of its stores. Um, given the fact that so many customers are located in more rural parts of the country right now and um, the costs can very quickly climb when you're talking about that last mile of delivery uh, in places that aren't as dense or aren't as populous, how are you executing on the strategy and how are you thinking about that dynamic between making sure people can get the essential goods they need and keeping your costs in check. Tractor Supply has been investing in our omni-channel capabilities for the last few years. We call it the one tractor strategy. And that foundation has really served us well through this crisis. Uh, in addition, uh, building on that foundation, as you mentioned, we've rolled out uh, curbside delivery nationwide. We've rolled out same-day, next-day delivery nationwide. We've increased our mobile point-of-sale hardware by 50 percent, and we'll be rolling out contactless payments across our stores in the next few weeks. Um, as it relates to e-commerce, uh, we have seen a significant uh, increase in e-commerce sales. 
uh, strong spikes there. That said, 70% of our online purchases are picked up in a store. Uh, and so buy online, pick up in store is the highest uh, kind of profitable purchase occasion online. Uh, 75% of those buy online, pick up in store orders are being picked up via curbside. So we're seeing strong adoption of a very new uh, feature that we've rolled out. Uh, as it relates to same day and next day delivery, uh, currently we charge, uh, we, are, we pass along the cost of that to our customers. Uh, so it can range anywhere from $20 to $60, depending on the distance from the store and also uh, the size of the item or items that you're ordering. Uh, and we've not had any customer complaints or issues uh, with that, and we feel like it's a very competitive yeah. uh, pricing for, for the types of items that we sell on a same-day or next-day basis. Yeah, finally, farmers are certainly feeling the pain right now, starting to get hit hard, especially where things like dairy and livestock are concerned. Are you seeing the ripple effects of that in terms of purchases as an activity in your stores? We are the largest bag goods seller of feed in the country. And so uh, much like uh, their, the family needs uh, grocery store services uh, for, for our customers, in many ways we're serving the animals' needs for our customers. And uh, we certainly, at the end of March, saw large stock-ups of those categories. Um, those have kind of abated now, uh, and we're seeing um, really uh, just a growth in a lot of outdoor categories, lawn care, landscaping, fencing, poultry and chickens, agriculture, gardening. Uh, you know, it's much more about the outdoors and homesteading and uh, uh, on your one acre, two acre, five acre, ten acres of land. Uh, certainly a lot of activity still around the care and maintenance of, of, of our customers' animals as well. Right. Um, and um, we're very much there to support rural America.